Hey, let's do a riff. This is a uh, Don't Fear the Reaper, Blue Oyster Cult. If you start on an A minor chord, you're going to hit uh, three strings. The fifth, fourth, and third. Gives you an A, E, A. Next, you got to pick up your ring finger and make that third string open G. So it's A, E, A, G. Next you go to part of a G chord. All you need is the third and second frets. And you pick through that chord. It gives you G, B, D, G. Next is F. I'm trying to remember if, it's, if the pinky is in there. I think it is. So that's a F, C, F, G. Just make like a chunk of an F bar chord but let the uh, three skinny strings remain open. Now jump back to the G. I always like doing stuff kind of slow so I can absorb that sound in my mind. <laughs> it's kind of tricky playing it slow. So it forces you to really concentrate. <laughs> so my goal is to make it really smooth and connected with nice ringing notes, no uh, dead notes or muted notes. Eventually that ends on an A minor 7, which is like A minor with your pinky on the first string, third fret. Like one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that was more at tempo. Eventually, you get around to the chord part, which uh, is pretty simple, but this used to kind of uh, confuse me. It's like this, F, G, A minor, and then an F, E seventh, A minor, and then it bleeds right into the riff on that A minor. So the chorus is F, G, A minor, and then an F, E7, and then our A minor. That always threw me off, because I, I wanted to go and stay on A, you know, strum the A minor, but it, it goes back to the first part. So the chorus again, F, G, A minor, F, E7, and the intro back into that. So that's a good chunk of it. If anybody wants to know, we can start looking up the solo, uh, at least the riff part of it. Uh, but this is a good start. Let me know if you like the song and we can uh, do a little more. I might even have a complete transcription I can send you if you'd like that. All right. Have a good uh, rest of the day. See ya.